Good morning, Saints. I hope that you are well. I decided that I would change a spot for today so that you could get a little bit of the blossom tree. Um, how are you doing this morning? How is your family doing? I want to assure you that no matter what your situation is, that our Father has you in his hands and he will support you. Indeed, he will support all of us in this very difficult time. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for your goodness and mercies towards us. How we love you, how we praise you for your presence in our lives, that you have not abandoned us, but you continue to hold us. As we open your word, speak to our hearts, for we ask this in Jesus' holy and blessed name. Amen. <clears throat> our scripture reading um, has that we're meditating upon once again is taken from John chapter 14 and I'm going to read verses 1 to 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you uh, that I'm going there uh, to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, the disciples were really fearing abandonment. They thought that Jesus was going to leave them, just like the many other uh, would-be messiahs of their time. Um, that left their, their followers um, disillusioned. But Jesus assures them, no, no such thing. Listen, I've got a great plan and, and I'm going to go to my father. And, um, you know, I'm going to prepare a place for you because in my father's house are many rooms and there's enough space for you and all my followers to come. And I think it's just an absolutely beautiful message. Um, you know, sometimes we find our place in a, ourselves in a place of distress. And right now, in the midst of this pandemic, uh, where we see our loved ones suffer, where we ourselves uh, at times don't even feel good, uh, the reality is that many people are finding themselves depressed. Uh, you know, grief will do that to you. Um, and, you know, and, and they, they're looking for, for hope. And I praise God that this text speaks to distress, speaks to, to, to trouble and says, hey, there is hope. And Jesus um, speaks directly to that. And, and in, the, in the, the, the part of the text that I would I, like us to focus on today is where he says, in my father's house. Oh, I tell you, there's something special. In my father's house, there are many rooms and I, I, I'm going there not to abandon you, but to prepare a place for you so that you can be with me, that we will be together forever. And, and you know, as I looked at this text saying, so I, I've got to admit to you, I, I'm so excited about it because it speaks about ending separation. And this text takes us right back to Genesis where our God, God spoke our world into existence. Uh, he, he takes us back to, to paradise where, where Adam and Eve are there uh, and everything around them is beautiful. The weather is beautiful. Uh, everything. They, there's no thing called sin. There's no thing called selfishness. There's none of those things. All that there is is love. And the most beautiful thing of all is that God would come to them and they would walk in the cool of the day. I, I, I don't know, but that conversation conversation must have been rich and they were there and they would be speaking to God open face to face communion but when sin came it put an end to that and, and Jesus is saying to his disciples listen I, I'm gonna sort this thing out there will be face to face communion again you know in my father's house are many rooms we're fed up of, of, of the separation that sin has brought. We're fed up of, of, of the symptoms that sin uh, surfaces as, as, as selfishness, as, as hatred, as, you know, even the world itself. You see, uh, you know, volcanic eruptions and all kinds of natural disasters going on, not to mention this pandemic. But Jesus says enough is enough. I'm going to put an end to it. I'm going to have it that we are together forever. 
and that's the beauty of this message and you know <laughs> the apostle paul gets excited about this in in first corinthians 2 verse 9 he says i has not seen and ear has not heard nor has it entered into the heart of man the things that god has prepared for those that love him oh saints it's so rich tomorrow we're going to continue looking at what god is preparing for us but one thing we have to realize jesus takes the gaze of his disciples from the here and now from the distress to the eternal realities and says hey just look here because the beauty the future is bright let us pray Dear Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercies towards us. Thank you for this wonderful plan of salvation that you are unfolding to us. That even in the midst of this pandemic, we have hope. We know that there is something greater. And even though we weep, we weep not without hope. We weep as whilst we are holding on to you, knowing that you are holding on to us, and knowing that you will never, ever let us go. Thank you that our Prime Minister is now well. Thank you that many others uh, are now healed and back home. And, and thank you, dear Father, for what you are doing. Though, though many are passing away, we hold on to this hope that one day there will be a great reunion. Keep us faithful until then. We ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen.